Now for the XY Performance tab. There are four of these XY pads, and each can be assigned to multiple parameters at the same time. All the assignments and controls are in the lower XY tab. Now before we look at how to use this, let's load a preset that has XY pads pre-assigned. The factory presets with a plus sign are the ones that have the XY pads, like this one. You can see three of them are assigned. They're also labeled accordingly. So I can just move this node around and affect the sound as they will be changing the assigned parameters. The six dials here are the individual X and Y parameter dials, so you can control just one axis at a time from here. You also see the node move when the dial is moved. Over here is where you actually make the assignments. We're in the XY1 page, so we're looking at just the first XY pads control. The eight controls on the left are for the X1, and eight on the right are for Y1. Currently, we can see two assignments, one for X1 and one for Y1. Heading over to XY2, you can see two assignments here too. XY3 has nothing, as we can see in the main perform area. X4 has nothing too. So now let's start from the initialize patch and set up some controls on one of the XY pads. I'll add in a filter to the sound. Okay, so there are two ways to make assignments. In the lower tab here, you can select the parameter, but sometimes it can be hard to find. An easier way is to just right click on the actual dial and set the X or Y assignment. So now cutoff is assigned to the X axis on the first XY pad. Let's also assign the filter FM to the Y axis. Now this assignment is only for the first pad, we can check the other XY pad tabs and you can see they are currently empty. Let's just stick with the first XY pad for now and try it out. Okay, so it seems like the cutoff only works in the lower range and the filter FM is not working at all. Let's try them one by one. Yes, the cutoff seems to have a range that's restricted to the lower half. Well, Y1 is just not working. So what's going on? The reason for this is the range assignment. Ideally, you want the control to be at the halfway mark. So the XY node gets the whole range. This range can also be adjusted directly here. So you can just click and drag this colored bar. You'll notice that it does the same thing as setting the parameter. Now, one more thing we need to do is to set the lower and upper values, or limits, which can be done by clicking and dragging these white indicators. If you can't get it exact, you can just double click to set it. That's both values centered. Let's double click again. That's both values inverted. One more time, and that's what we want. Cool. Now let's try the XY pad again. Nice. We're getting the full range now. Add some resonance. Still works. Let's do the same for the filter FM. Set it to the middle. Now you may not have to center these ranges for every control. It completely depends on the parameter. Sometimes having that half range is more useful. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're hearing the filter FM as well. Both X and Y axis seem to be working properly. Now if it isn't obvious yet, let me emphasize that you can actually assign 8 parameters to each of the axes. Let's make another assignment here. How about vibrato? I'll set the dial to the center, so we get a nice range. Now we're controlling vibrato depth with the x-axis. Let's also add a reverb and control the range as well as the feedback with Y1. You can see the assignments here. Let's try it out. So with this one XY pad, I'm controlling five different parameters. You can double click here to rename the XY pad. You can double click here to add some additional info. Label what each axis is controlling so it's easier to see. So that's how the XY performance tab works in Zebra. With that, we have come to the end of this course. I know that was a long journey and we did look at quite a lot of controls on this very powerful synth. I hope you enjoyed this course and are inspired to create your own presets in Zebra. Have fun doing that, make some great music and I'll see you in the next one.